C15 and the Kalahar Resort in the Sconset Dells are treating you to a one night stay and two all day passes to their indoor theme park. Every Friday we draw another name. You have till noon the following Monday to email us or call us to claim your fabulous prize. Who's got one today? Happy birthday, everybody. Celebrating today, Wednesday, January 14th, LL Cool J. Mama said knock you out. <gasps> He's 47 today. <laughs> <laughs> he is considered one of the best hip hop artists of all time. Uh, Mama Said Knock You Out, one of the best hip-hop albums of all time. It got a ton of awards. He's also an actor, Any Given Sunday, and NCIS, he had a huge role in that, too. He has four children with his wife, Simone. They married oh, almost 20 years now, 1995. You used to play that uh, hip-hop on your walk, man? Yes. Cassette tape? Yeah. Throw it in there? Oh, yeah. I have it on in the car every morning on the way into work. <laughs> uh, hot pastrami sandwich day today. That's nice. I like the pastrami. Ooh, I'm sure I may you. have to get, get myself one of those today. In this date in 1952, NBC's long running morning news program today debuted mm. with host Dave Garraway. 1973, on this date, Elvis Presley's concert Aloha from Hawaii is broadcast live via satellite and sets the record as the most watched broadcast by an individual entertainer in television history. Wow. I remember that when it was on TV, believe it or not. Well, I, it's not hard to believe. It was 73. How old was I? I was... 46. Okay. I was, what, eight years old? Eight years old. And you remember that? Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember him getting off the plane with a big lay around his uh, wow. neck. Yeah, my parents had that on. Yeah, I would say... Was, I think it was during prime time. Yeah, if I had to guess who that would be, I would say Elvis probably in the Beatles maybe, but it's just a single artist, huh, mm -hmm. for that. Wow. Individual entertainer. Okay, uh, bring you down moment. 1963 on this date, George Wallace was sworn in as governor of Alabama in his address. He stated, uh, segregation now, segregation tomorrow, segregation forever. Mm. That was in his uh, inaugural address. And now for your viewing pleasure, we go back to 1943. That's an old airplane. It is. No question about that. It happens to be a Boeing 314 flying boat. Wow. And it happens to be the plane that first carried a sitting president. Really? On this date... In uh, 1943, Franklin Delano Roosevelt landed in Morocco, mm. and he was the first president, first sitting president to ever fly on a plane. Now, other presidents had flown on planes. As a matter of fact, the first one was Teddy Roosevelt, flew in 1910 on one of the Wright Flyers in St. Louis, but he was not president at that time. Uh, travel on airplanes was not considered safe for presidents back in the 1940s, okay. but they decided that uh, he would fly to Morocco rather than take a boat because of submarines, and they worried more about submarines sinking the boat than they did about the plane crashing. Uh, he went from Miami to the Caribbean to Brazil, wow. across to Gambia in Africa, <gasps> and then to Casablanca. It took him four days to get there because huh. they had to stop to refuel along the way. Incidentally, Air Force One was first established in 1959 <laughs> by Eisenhower. Uh, and they did that because uh, the presidential plane was never called Air Force One, but there was a plane, but it flew into airspace, and there was a commercial plane that had the same call numbers mm. as it did, so they came up with the Air Force One to separate it. And here's one more little fact, and yes. it's a bonus day because you get two for your viewing okay. pleasures. Okay, we're ready. So we'll go back to the plane. This was the plane uh, on, uh, on this, not on this date, but a few days after he landed, he was flying back. He celebrated his 61st birthday on this plane oh. over the country of Haiti on the way okay. back. He took the same route back, and that is 